Hey everybody, good afternoon. Hey guys, what's up? How are you guys doing? Hey, thanks for joining us at My Favorite Groomer here in Fort Worth, Texas. So, I don't want to spend too much time talking about this, but I do want to bring it up. So, some of you guys don't really know who I am or what I do, and I focus my grooming. I've been grooming um, 20 years now, but I've been grooming My Favorite Groomer, the owner of My Favorite Groomer, for 18 years, and I like to groom aggressive dogs. And in grooming aggressive dogs, you find that you are always showing people the hardest grooms out there because that dog has already gone through so much other, so many other things, um, traumatic experiences. Now, the dog I'm about to groom, I've groomed since she was a puppy until she went somewhere else. And she went somewhere else on a whim because her daughter worked at a groom shop near where they live, which is up near Carrollton in Frisco, Texas, which is really far from here. It's over about an hour far from here. And we touched base, base with this subject last night and I showed some pictures of what the groomer up there did to the dog. And from the pet owner, this is kind of some of the injuries that took place with that dog in that salon. So the dog, um, me and the owner went back and forth about what she wanted her dog to look like. And let me pull up what she wanted her dog to look like. And again, I'm gonna not spend too much time here. But she said, Didi, this is what I would love my dog to look like, okay? So this is kind of what she was hoping for when she went somewhere else, which is, I'm not upset she went somewhere else. Don't give me, don't um, read my thought, my, don't read my mind if you don't know what my mind is thinking. I'm giving you facts. So she said, what I wanted was prepared for the, this right here, this type of grooming. And this was a before picture of her dog, okay? So we had a lot of hair to work with. And potentially with a lot of work and dematting, maybe we could have got that, the white dog picture, okay? But this is what she got when she was driving home uh, out upon pickup at that other groomer, okay? And it's, that's fine. It's short. But what you don't see are all the nicks and injuries that happened at that groom shop, the nick under her ear, okay? So when I was grooming this dog, it was, the dog is really young and you can see the nick on her face and on her eye and on her nose. So when you have a groomer do this kind of injury to your dog, and I know some of you guys out there don't know me, but you'd be making up some lies about me. I've never done this to a dog. Never. In my career, I've never done that to a dog, ever. No matter what anyone says, if you don't have the facts and you don't have the proof, I will say, hey, if you're gonna uh, uh, if you're gonna blast somebody for something, but you don't have facts, real facts, then um, you're making up your own facts or you're lying. You're that's not good. Don't do that to people. This really happened. So I'll show you this last one. These injuries are really bad, and it breaks my heart. And I know the owner sitting right right now in my lobby watching me talk about her dog like this this is why today when I groom her she's in tough shape in my opinion when my if my dog went through this I would not want to touch my dog for grooming for a while either and why because if you've ever gosh think of the human like okay um, this one time I was in the kitchen my kitchen and I was cutting carrots with a dull blade this is why you don't use dull blades in grooming in the kitchen. You see like Chef Ramsey, he's always like doing all his sharpening his tools, right? Right there, he's sharpening before he cuts up anything, the steak, whatever. So you never use a dull blade. I thought sure enough, like use a dull blade. Well, I would not nick myself as much as I nick myself in the kitchen. No, that's not the truth. If you use a dull blade, it's going to slip and it's going to cut. I cut, um, let me see which pinky it was. I cut this pinky off like it looked like Pac-Man. I cut it literally off. And without health insurance, I was over here. I fixed it myself. Look, it's intact. This sucker, I took pictures. It was like Pac-Man. The whole finger was off because I was using a dull blade. So don't use a dull blade. But what I'm getting at is when you have these injuries and you have to come out of the kitchen, I did not cut carrots for six months. I didn't... <laughs> It was cutting a carrot with a dull blade. It slipped, boom, and it cut my whole finger off, except for like Pac-Man. It was just hanging on by threads. 
If you want to know how to fix it, wait till the end. Remind me, YouTube, and I'll tell you how I fixed my own finger without going to the hospital, and it's intact, and it has feeling. <laughs> it was crazy. So, if you have an injury, a boating, a friend of mine, she's in her 40s, she just had a, she broke her back. I don't think she'll go boating for a very long time. So when you have injuries of this kind from a groomer, you might not go back to a groomer for a long time. So this was all in June, 2023. July, August, September, it's October now. And the coat on this doodle is really in tough shape. Am I gonna brush her for three hours? No. I'm not going to. If you know a groomer that will and they wanna come do it, great. But that's not who's here right now. And that's, I don't know that my client will let anybody touch her dog now except for me. I don't know, but she gets to watch. She gets to sit, wait, watch, and if I need her, help. And that's what I love about the way I groom. Why? Because when you groom aggressive dogs they, and senior and disabled dogs, heart, heart seizure dogs, heart um, murmur dogs, dogs that have collapsed trachea, dogs with a broken back, dogs with DG, dogs with DM, dogs, when you groom all these dogs, you want the owner to see what you're doing at all times so that they can make judgment calls for the health and well-being of their dog. And that's how I like to groom. If you don't know that, then you don't know that. And I'm telling you that now. So you can fix your thoughts and processes and judgments upon me, unless you have facts. So every time I'm grooming, the owner's here. Unless they choose not to be. If that's their choice, they want to run to the store, or go get gas, or go to the bank and get cash. That's on them. But the ability for me to let you see, I'm so transparent. You get to sit, wait, watch, and help. And that's really important because She's out there right now. She's gonna watch me groom her dog. And after this kind of injury, after we've had an injury like that, I have no idea how this dog's gonna act. So this is her first groom back with me after that. And it's been at least four months since she's had a haircut. And you will see her coat is extremely matted. Today, a lady wanted a quote for a doodle. And I told her, watch the, she goes, what is that included in that? Well, if it's three or five hours to groom your dog, that's where we're getting our labor time. Because it takes a long time to groom a dog, that's a doodle, that's not kept up to care at home, not brushed properly, not combed properly, and then you only come in every four to six months. It's a very long, tedious, heartbreak, heart back-breaking job for the groomer, wherever you're at. So there are groomers that will not do a doodle because it is so back-breaking. So you have a client, that you're grooming a doodle for three years and then that client goes somewhere else. All the injuries that your back now feels the rest of your life and that client is around, isn't around when you retire, there's a, you need to charge what price you feel is going to take care of you for the long haul. Because if you only come here once and it's really, really bad, it's not gonna be cheap because you might not come back. And if you do come back regularly, you might not stay with me till your dog dies. You might move around and go other places. You might go to the cheapest person, even if they're grooming in their bathroom on the floor and it's cheaper and there's fleas in the environment. You may choose to go to that place because you don't know and you don't care to look at what's going on in the environment. And I know groomers like that. So it's okay to be that way, but there's a reason why you're gonna pay a cheap price for a more expensive price. So I'm gonna go back out there now. I'm gonna grab this doggy. I was grooming her as a puppy and we were taking it slow. And then when she went somewhere else, all that went down. So it was just, it's out of my control. I don't know what she's gonna act like now, but she came to visit yesterday when I groomed um, Dang It. Dang It's the dog's name. So we groomed Dang It, she was along for the ride and she jumped on me and she said, hey Dee Dee, I remember you. So she was super happy and I hope that the groom goes well, but we won't know until we get in there. Something I did pull aside as well because in case she's a, she's a doodle, I have two doodles. When they hang their head down a lot, they hang their head on this groom loop, which um, is their neck, right? Imagine you hanging your head on the groom loop. On, okay, okay, it does that. So I pulled this just in case I want to use it. If I have to use it, it will be the owner's, and she will use it every time she comes in for grooming. So we'll see if her dog hangs her head. Remember. I was taking it slow. We were doing slow stuff, brush out only, brush out with the deep face feet sanitary because she was young. But now she's already been through all this trauma and we're gonna see now how she behaves as we have to get all the hair off because she's extremely matted. Okay, let's get started. Thanks for joining us. Please hit that follow and thank you for being here. 
Thanks for your support with everything going on. You can check it all out on YouTube, My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. And also check us out and sign up for our newsletter at myfavoritegroomer.com. Be sure you hit that follow because when I close out TikTok, it's just gone. You might not be able to find it again. Um, I've had some history on doing that. All right, so let me grab my gloves. I'm wearing gloves so I don't get splinters from the hair cutting process. I'm also gonna grab my face mask so I don't breathe in all the debris that comes with shaving hair. What's up, One Hot Mama? What's up out there, Maria? Thanks for joining from Carrollton. You ought to know who this groomer is. If you want to text me, I'll tell you who it is because you're up in that vicinity. But you groom your own dog, Maria, so I think you're all right. Pookie Puppy, hello from Hawaii. BP, what's up? How are you? Thanks for all your gifts. I did not pick up the gift you sent me today. I will pick it up tomorrow, hopefully. Linda, do you have to pay to live chat? No, you should be able to chat right there. Click comments. The girl with the animals, hello. Daniel Brown, hi, how are you today? Good to see you from New Zealand. TikTok, hello, what's up? Pup Mama, how are you guys doing tonight? Be sure to con uh, write on there. Hi, Amanda, what's up? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah, I lived in Germany for a long time. Love Germany. Hi, Dana. Hi, Dana says, don't take advice from her. Okay, well, you don't have to join us. And abuse, that's exactly what I'm talking about, is that you are spreading really false rumors, so please don't do that to people. Amanda, what's up? Tony, what's up? Pup Mama, hello, Linda, what's up, you guys? Okay, let's go get our baby girl. dreading this haircut, man. It's so, so matted. It's so, so matted. Wait, you, do you, can you? Wait, hi. Hi. You want Kenny up here? Hi. Hi, girl. Hi. Since you were a puppy, when you were a small puppy, you were here. Yeah. You want to come here for me? I'm nervous a little bit. It's okay. Come. Come on. Come. Come up. Up. Can you come up? This is a good girl. You want to come in my lap? Come up in my lap? what happened but we're not going to hold on to it okay it's been a, it's been a few months since it happened and we just move forward now okay move forward your hair is all grown back twofold right it's all grown back now mm -hmm. it's really grown back hasn't it yeah I'm going to put this on and see if you hang your head. If you hang your head, we'll use the groom loop cover for you, and then you're going to, that comes with, with you. It's your grooming. Because my judos like to hang their head, period. Okay? Okay, so we'll put that on. Mom bought this martingale collar from me here a long time ago. I love it because it's loose until the dog, I hope I don't see anything I don't like right there. We'll see what happens. It's loose until the dog pulls and then it gets tight. I love these. You can get these at myfavoritegroomer.com. Good stay. Okay. Okay, 
come back this way for you guys a little bit here. I'll do the best I can. It's just kind of minimal. I don't like it when you guys are so rude and mean. I don't know why you, who taught you to be that way, but no thanks. No thank you. Things that was tough was your face, right? So let me see this. Mm -hmm. Come here. We probably have to take all this off. I mean, we can brush it out and do all that, but. Now we can see your face while I'm grooming. Look at her eyes. Oh my goodness. Look at her eyes come popping out. Oh. Hey there, boo boo. Hey there, boo boo. Okay, well, if it takes me three hours to shave all this because it's so mad, I better get started, huh? And don't get mad, okay? Don't get mad. Okay, let's look that way. You want to look that way for me? I hate that I have to take it down to a 10, but I think I do. I mean, it's, it's pretty bad, so, yeah. Okay, here we go. Let me do... Can you guys see okay? Yeah, that's okay. You want to sit down? You looking at me? Hi. You looking at me? Look forward there. Look forward. Look forward how mad it is, it's real bad. It's really, 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 really bad. Are you, okay, are those warnings? Licking the chomps is a warning. It's been a while, I don't know what happened. Remember, I just, TikTok, you guys might not have seen it. If you just join me now, the pictures of what happened to her in the last group somewhere else. I'm gonna follow that gut instinct that we talked about last night. I'm gonna follow that gut instinct. I'm gonna put this on, okay? I'm gonna put this on, okay? It's really, really loose. So when it's this matted, Is this matted, right? See, you cannot get your comb through. You have to brush all this out. If you want to, great. I'm not going to do that here. In order to avoid this, you have to brush every day on a doodle and comb every day, period. I'm not joking. And if you wait a couple days, it's already like my female doodle or head's already like needs help. But when you're going to shave it out, I'm using my five speed and also a 10 blade. I have to get underneath the mats, under, so you can easily see in here. Like in between all the matting, you can get in there and find yourself a pocket so you can get your tin blade underneath that. You can get everything I'm using at myfavoritegroomer.com.
So there's a bunch of black dots in this hair all through that. Do you see them? All those black dots? All those black dots in there looks like pepper. When you have a bunch of black dots like that, it does look like it's a flea problem. So we're going to see soon, hopefully, if something pops up here. And there's tons, tons of it. There's tons of it in this hair right here. Thanks for joining us. Please hit that like button and hit the follow button. Check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com. If you're here from the beginning, you got to see what her groom was like the first time. 
like in June, what happened at another groomer, groomer, and so we're being really cautious and careful, but also at the same time, this is very managed. So when you have knots and mats this, this bad, it does pull on the skin. So just know it's not just matted. It's, there's other things going on. Not only is it a great place for fleas and ticks to thrive, bugs to thrive, when you wash your dog this thick, the skin is not getting washed. There's no way. And when you wash a dog like this, getting the dog wet, it's going to make what's curly tighter. Okay. So if it's tighter, it's definitely tight and pulling on the skin, okay? You may not look at it like that. You might be like, well, you know, oh well, it's just a haircut that's a long time coming. No, there's a lot of things happening. I would not want my hair, I can't even deal with my hair with gel in it, let alone having it matted. This is how tight it is. Okay, this is how tight it is hanging on together. Why do fleas like this area? Because the dog can't reach it. They can't lick it, chew it, bite it. They can't scratch it. So they'll in infest right here. I came over here. Yes, I did. I came over here. Hold on. You want to see me? Hi. You want to smell? What do you think? How do you think? Yeah, I know. How are you doing? How are you doing? You doing okay? It's okay. It's okay. We got half, half almost half of your body off. This is painful. This is painful coming off. It doesn't seem like it, but it is.
remember we talked about this. I don't want her hanging her head the whole time, so this is an invention I created. It's called the dog groom loop cover. So we're going to put this around here. Because if we have to groom her for two, three hours, this I don't want her doing that the whole time. So mom, I know I've said it a couple times already, but please don't come back in in this condition, please. I don't care if it's just borderline getting bad, but please do not bring her back in this condition. This is so hard on me and the dog. Like I cannot get through, I cannot even find a pocket in her neck. which makes it, right, dangerous. The neck skin is thinner than other parts of the body skin. in there. Tons of it. Where's the fleas, man? Look at all this black pepper. Those are big, fat black peppers right there. Big, fat ones. I'm just waiting. I'm like, I have to spray pesticide tonight in here. I have to take, just in case, precautions, because flea eggs can last three years without hatching. Three years! Oh my 
on, honey. Hold on, honey. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Hang on, hang on. Okay, alrighty. We are making headway, girl. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, are you going to pull out of that? Yep. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't go anywhere, please. Don't go anywhere yet, please. It's too tight. No, it isn't. No, it's not. If it was too tight, she, could pull, she would not pull out of it. So just so that you, some of you guys out there, I can, I can see that you might say that. I've heard it before. It's like, you're too tight. No, it's not even tight enough, honestly. Okay, stay there. Stay there. Bear with me here. It's tough on us both, honey. But I mean, honestly, you haven't been in a groomer shop for how many months? How many months did I say? So just a few hours tonight, and I won't see you hopefully two months, but you haven't been back in how many months? You got a break. It's not like she has to come in monthly, or she has come in monthly. No. We're going to come back and do some of this other stuff after. Let's just work on getting all this body off. No, 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 okay, no, 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 come on, baby girl, you got this, well, we're not going to do that, we're not arguing, I'm not going to argue with you, no, we're not arguing, I don't want to argue with you, okay, No ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, mm-mm, mm-mm. You're doing all kinds of stuff over here. You must not like it, huh? I wouldn't like it either. I wouldn't like it either if it was looking like this. When you want to own a doodle, to care for a doodle, including myself, it's a lot of work. Doodle's hair is like a standard poodle hair. If it grows back and it's curly, it's going to be a bad day if you're not brushing every day, okay, period. Doodle, standard poodle, all that. If you don't want to brush every day, then every month or every two months, how about this? You shave your dog every month. Keep it short. If you want to brush every day, then you won't have that problem. Then you'll look like Brody. Brody doesn't wait years and months to get a groom. There's no way his coat would look like that if he waited months.
<laughs> You're looking right at me. You're so cute. You're so cute. It's coming off, you know? It's coming off. Yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're getting there. How do you feel? How do you feel? You feel okay? I'm sorry. You have to go through that. I'm sorry. You have to go through that. Oh. Keep cycling through. I'm on my third tin blade. Cycling through those. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like, subscribe, and share button. Do the dog up stand large here. Dog up stand large made in Texas. You can get these at dogupstand.com. She doesn't like it right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Steady, steady, steady. You got this. You got this, girl. You got it. Hang in there. Hang in there, girlfriend. You got it. You got it, girl. You got it. Everyone say, You got it, girl. You got this. Hang in there. Hang in there. Can you tell how mad it is? Can I get some yeses or noes? Can you tell how mad the tail is? Hold on, baby girl. Hold on, hold on, we're almost done. We're done, we're almost done, we're almost done. Okay, 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 almost, almost. Stand up, stand up. You're okay. 
You cut that in the middle here. Oh, I'm done, almost done, almost done, almost done. Almost, almost. Hang in there. Tell her you got it, girl. You got it, girl. Hold on. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. You change the subject? Let's go over here. Dee Dee said, you know, in order to get good at shaving the private areas, I need to shave my own. How bushy is your, your situation? If you got a lot of practice area, go ahead. Grab that five speed, you know what I'm saying? Really hard area right there. All right, let's see here. Let me 
come in here. Can I come in here? Very good, very, very good. Everything hurts. It, it would hurt me if I was matted like that. It's upsetting.
こちゃちゃちゃちゃちゃちゃ
Hold it, hold it, hold it. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Hold it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you. Good girl. Hold it. Hold it. Good girl. Come on, Matt. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, I'm going to switch my blade. Just kind of feeling dull. Thank you, Tenko, for your membership on YouTube. Woohoo! Bring it. Bring it, baby. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold yourself. You got this. You got it. Hang in there. Hang in there. You're really mad at it in here. Hold on. Hold on. I'm so sorry. It's so mad. Damn. Ooh, why does it have to be so matted? So frustrating. You know what the frustrating part is? The human side of everything. I'm upset, I'm upset because of the human decisions that we make. Not the dog, the humans. I have to come back to it. I have to come back to that foot that's matted, you know? And you're not going to like it. It's going to be painful. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got that chunk right there. You're good. You're good. A little bit more here, a little bit more. You got this, hang in there. Hang in there. Don't get mad at me, please. Don't get mad at me. Everyone seems to get mad at Dee, but I'm just a delivery guy, you know what I mean? Something happened somewhere else, and I don't know why people get upset with Dee. When I'm here showing you exactly what's happening, here's your proof. Here's what's happening. All right, are, are you falling asleep? You can't be falling asleep right now. We have a lot to do here. She falling asleep? <laughs> Let me see.
probably got most of it on that one swipe. Heck yeah, baby. severe injuries on the last groom somewhere else. This is definitely, definitely hard work. And she, how about this? She's doing good, isn't she? She's doing really good considering what I showed you in the beginning of the video. Please hit that like button, hit that follow, TikTok, YouTube, hit that sub, Facebook, hit that follow sub. Woo -woo -woo. Give her a quick break. How about that? Give her a quick break, quick break. Thanks for being here with me. I appreciate you. You can check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com. We're based out of Fort Worth, Texas. If you want to sit, wait, watch, and help me groom your own dog, if you have to because your dog is so mean, I am that girl for you. I don't mind sharing, being transparent, and letting you watch as I work. I don't mind it at all. You should have the right to know what's happening to your animal behind closed doors, wherever you go, no matter what that looks like. If you're a lover or a hater, you can't deny that that's what I actually do in my business. You want to hate me for whatever reasons that you don't even know me because I never met you, that's fine. But you do not come here for grooming because if you did, you would, you would know that you could sit, wait, and watch me groom live on YouTube and Facebook and TikTok, your dog. So you know that your dog did not get injured here. What happens somewhere else stays somewhere else. We don't want that to come here. We don't want that to happen here. You get to watch and be a part of your dog's groom. Now, looky here, girlfriend. I'm so sorry. You still have one mounted paw back there. Okay? All right, I'm going to scoot you over because you're on the edge a little bit. Scoot over just a tiny bit. Okay? Can you? Well, okay, I guess not. You're, you're going to stay right here. Okay? Hey, okay, girlfriend, you got that? You got this. We're almost done. Yeah. We're almost done, baby girl. Oh my goodness. Everyone say, baby doing good, she doing good. Give her some high vibes, man. Woo woo woo. She's doing great. Alright, she's don't throw down too much for me. Okay, don't, don't really throw down on me because I know that that's... Just hang in there, okay? Just hang in there. Just hang in there, okay? Okay. We're going to switch out a nice cool blade here. I'm going to bring her down. Because I'm right-handed, I'm going to swing my clipper underneath her. And she's a tall dog, so it is what it is. I'm going to bring my clipper here, okay? There we go, baby girl. Good girl, good girl. It's okay, it's okay. You got this. Everyone say, you got this. You're like, girl, you leaning on me. You're so cute. Look how matted in between her toes. Look how matted that is. Look at this. Look how chunky that is. That's between her toes. That's like it growing in between your feet here. You know, your toes and your fingers. Ready?
Don't sit yet. Don't sit yet. Don't sit. No. chunks of whatever that is. Look at the chunky stuff in there, in her paw. What is that? What's all that chunky stuff? I don't even know what that is. Okay, we still have to come back and do her all her pads. So if the top of her beat and then her digits were all matted, just imagine what those pads are going to look like. Let's get our 40 blade. And again, you can get the 40 blade at myfavoritegroomer.com. I'll go ahead and put this dog up, stand large underneath her while I do the back feet. And then for the front feet, she can, she can just sit down. All right, because she's heavy, you know, to hold her up and do her pads, just like I was doing just there, to hold her up is tough. Okay, can I have this? Can I have this paw? Let me see. Okay, thank you. Good job, good job, good job. Very good, very good, very good. Yes, you did, you're very good. You ready? Thank you. Good job, good job, good job, girl, good job, yahoo, everyone say good job, she's doing so good, we're almost done, okay, I'll let you stand there if you want. Okay, I'll let you rest that. And then look at it again. Rest. 
Look at it. Oh, I tricked you. I tricked you a little bit. I just did. I tricked you just a tiny bit. Change your position. Steady, Betty. Steady, Betty. Whew. You want to work out? Come be a groomer. Come be a pet groomer. You want to be a workout. Man, this is a big workout. bottom pads one more time on this last paw, okay? Is that okay? I'm going to just look at the bottom so we can just move away from this part of the job. Your breath smells good. You have a good smelling breath. Mm -hmm. it smells like rice, actually. Rice, rice and beef? I don't know, but it smells good. It smells really good. It smells like the country where they make rice and pick it and pull it out of the water. Okay, let me see it one more time at the bottom, okay? I just want a little. Ah, just a tiny piece. There you go, there you go. Just that little tiny piece. Little tiny piece. That's just a little tiny piece, so we're done with that, okay? We're done with that. All right, let's do your toenails before I take the cone head off, okay? Can you support yourself? Let me see. Very good, very, very good. Let me see this one. Very good. Good girl. Come in here. May I? Okay, you, you got this. You do, you got it. Okay, let me see. Let me take the edge off. Very good. Steady, Betty. Uh, I can feel you pulling. Don't pull. You're good. Very good. Very good. Everyone say, very good. If you weren't watching the very beginning of this video, I'm going to show you at the end which, what we were dealing with. One last time, okay? There were some things that happened to her. If you didn't watch the very beginning of the video, you missed it. But thanks for joining. Be sure you hit that follow. Double tap that screen. Send them hearts over. I really appreciate your support. I hope you're enjoying the entertainment. Now, we've got to really get into finishing off the body around the neck and the back, obviously, because that's where the cone head has been. So we have to kind of just get rid of that a minute. Okay. 
Now we know she went through a lot already, and so we were just hesitant about all kinds of stuff that could have happened during the groom today because of what she'd been through, okay? But she did really good, and we got all the big mats off. Her body was pretty matted everywhere. We did pretty good with that. So thank God. Thank God it, it was a lot better than it could have been. Try a guard first, but pretty sure this is this is really mad in here. All right, let's try a two guard. If it doesn't go through, Doug, if you're out there, this is what you were talking about. If your dog's matted and you're going to try to do a guard cut and you're not going to brush it out, if it doesn't go through, don't push it through. Just take it down shorter. This is no brushing. I'm not going to brush her. I'm not going to demat her. So if it doesn't go through, I'm just taking it down shorter, period. You can choose what you want to do in your business. That's what I'm going to do in mine. You look up. what I'm doing so I need to be um, lower her. Flea resident residue right there. Bad, real, real bad. Okay, 
Thanks for following. Thanks for sharing. Hit them likes on TikTok. Thank you, TikTok. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Facebook. Wait, hold on, I know. Well, bear with me. Do something here. Can I put that groove right over here a little bit? There we go. You can do that for me. Thanks. Did you, what was it? Was that what would it look like? You didn't like something? I saw a little bit of teeth. Are you trying? Don't lie to me. <laughs> what did she? What did you guys see? Is that a warning? Man, will you just tell me if it's a warning? I got some tricks I can do. Oh yeah, I'll go. I'm just gonna do it. Did you give me a warning? Here, I'll put that on there. Look that way. This is the ear. Same ear, backside. Get a nice cool blade, switch it out. See, it wasn't clicked, it was just, she's not being like mean, mean, but just in case, right? This big piece does not want to let go, man. Thanks for joining. Please hit that follow button. Oh, 
please don't get upset. Oh, Lord. Please don't get upset while I'm back here. Don't get upset. Don't get upset with me. Go so look forward. That mat is, that's crazy right there. Okay, so just don't get upset with me, okay, girl? I love you. Okay, just bear with me. I'm just going to click that there for a second. Just work this whole thing off here. Don't get upset, okay? You got this, girl. You got it. Hold on. Steady, Betty. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Steady, Betty. Steady, Betty. Oh. How do you spend your Friday nights? It's Friday night, right? This is my Friday night? This is as good as it gets? Okay. Can you look up? Look up. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Chotamate. Wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait, wait. Okay, right, right, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, can you look up, look up, go back in here, like this, we'll put that there, just hang that, let, let's let that hang out there, okay, for a second. Go up, 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 real quick, like, real quick, real quick, like, no ma'am, no ma'am, good girl, good girl. Good girl, we'll come back to this ear in a second. You don't like that ear stuff, okay? Hold on. Just a mate. Finally. Wow, look. Look, we finally got that last piece out. Whoa. Look at this. Look, girl. What the heck's going on with this? How are you feeling? I bet you feel great now. Right? I bet you feel great now, huh? Wow. I cannot wait to get you life clean. Look at your eye boogers. Oh gosh, you're looking better now already. Okay, we gotta do something with this ear. And you didn't like that last ear, so I'll put this one on just for, let me get through this ear, okay? The ear and the neck are very sensitive areas, so be careful. Let's go and get a nice, real cool blade. I've been going through ceramic, 10 blades, and I've gone through three cycling through the whole room. I need my trash can. Why? Because we have remnants of fleas everywhere. So I haven't run into a flea yet, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to. So we don't want to pass fleas on to other dogs that are in the facility or coming in tomorrow. So I'm doing my best to try to keep everything contained, and I like to run a, a clean ship anyway, so. I don't like to walk around in all the hair and all that stuff as I groom. I don't like to do that. Mm, get that out, huh?
Okay. Okay. Good girl. Get our two guard back here. Keeping your eye on me? Yeah? Take this ear hair out. The powder is for gripping, not numbing. There's a lot. So you can get the ear cleaning kit on myfavoritegroomer.com as well. It's got my little holder here so I can go faster. And my hemostats, I have a bunch of different kinds of hemostats depending on what you're using them for. Whether it's to make bows or... Hold on, let me see here. Ear hair should be pulled out every time you bathe a dog. Or at least I check my dog's ears weekly because I live with them. That's out of one ear. One ear. It's a lot. Thanks for joining us. Please hit that like button, follow, and share. Appreciate you guys. On a doodle, their ear canal is so big usually, you can usually do a lot with your fingertips unless it's real dirty or oily and then it's really hard to get. Hold on, hold on. Hi, you're okay. A little bit more here, okay? If you're doing this regularly, then there's never this much in the ear to pull out all at once. I wouldn't want to wait until my eyebrows are completely bushy again and get it all done. It's so painful. So I do a maintenance wax cleaning, you know, maintenance, which means you go on off often, once a, a month instead of once every six months. Hold on, hold on. And then like if you're laying in bed and you are playing with your doodles, ears, open them up and just grab a little sliver. If it's hair, grab it. Don't let it get accumulated like that. This is all out of one ear. This is a lot. Look at this. One ear. So that pro I don't know, I can't speak for the last groomer, so if she was groomed in June, I, and I don't know that they did all that. I don't, did they do all that? Did they get all the way done? You never know, huh? You smell? That's, your, that's from your ear. No, I'm not going to clean that. Let you clean that. You're sweet, though. Don't worry, I'll wash my hands. Okay?
Okay, uh, look up. Look up. Maybe don't get upset. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, we have to get kind of, we're going to wrap it up now, so stay there a second. Put this back on the normal. Okay. That's your face. Hold on. Can you read her at all? Wait, 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 wait. For me, it's hard to read. Can you guys read her? Can you read her facial expressions, her teeth, her mouth, her, her tongue, what she's thinking? Can you read what she's saying right there? I'm, I'm reading she doesn't like something. So I went to a four guard, which is shorter than the two guard reverse. There we go, got it. There we go, awesome. Because the two guard wouldn't go through the mats on her lip area, okay? Not bad. Yeah? You see her? Very good. You see? Wait. Chotta mate. Chotta mate. Pa 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 Good girl. See what's in your mouth here? Very good girl. Steady Betty. Steady Betty. Steady Betty, real quick like, very good, real quick, okay, let's take a look. Nice and up, good girl. Very good girl. All right, let's take this back up and take a good look. What do you think? <sighs> Doodle. And she was really mad at if you didn't see the earlier stuff, right? You were so mad at Look at you now. Oh my goodness, we needed to see you, didn't we?
Wow, you were so mad. And look at you now. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? She's not going to give that to me. Get this armpit up, 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 up. One little bit more here on the armpit. Very good. Before you guys head out, I want to show you one more thing. Because some of you guys were not here at the very beginning, very beginning. Here is what we're working with. This is what happened in June. One last look, and then we are going to bathe her and say goodnight. So in June, a groomer did this to her. And this is her groom after that. So this was up in Frisco, Carrollton area. This is the, this is what the groomer did to her in June. And so this is why it's important to be able to see what we're doing. This is a nick here and around her face here, around her eye. So if you're watching now, this is why you get to watch what I do whenever I'm doing it because it's so important that I show. This is around the ear. I love what I do and I love to let the owners watch what I do and give them the opportunity. This is her going home at that groomer up in Frisco, Carrollton area. This is the uh, before picture when she walked into that groomer. 
and this is what she wanted. This is, I think, her mom or dad. She, the owner wanted this. If you can't watch the groomer work on your dog, right? then you never know what you might be getting in yourself into. Exactly. So know the truth and no facts. Um, right? Thank you. Come here. So now that she's not busy and not off of the table, I mean off the table, that's, I wanted to see her personality. So I wanted to, I want to see if she, Will you let me pick you up and put you in there? Oh, you look so cute. You look so cute. Let's sweep this. I want to see her personality after the haircut because most of the time doodles actually do really good as far as, um, do you have to potty? It was a while. Do you think you have to potty? Let me clean this. I might lean on it. You want to jump up here? You want to jump up here? Wow, you look great. Okay, can I jump up here? You remember me? Do you remember me? Hi. Do you remember me when we grew when you were a puppy? Do you remember me? I remember you. Jump on the table for me. You want to do some practice? Come on. Come on, jump up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Ooh, you want to jump up. Yes, you do. You do. You want to jump up. Yes, you do. Come here. Come here. Oh. We have to make up for lost time, you know? Clear all 
this. You got me working out, man. You got me working. What time is it? How long did I take anyway? 6.19. 4.15, 5.15, 6.15. Not bad. Considering the, how mad you were, right? Woo! I'm gonna wash all that in a second. I'm giving that to mom. Okay, I'm gonna pick you up and put you over there, okay? Girl, please work with me. I tell her, work with her. Work with the groomer. Work with the groomer. Work with the groomer. All right, here we go. Woo! Here we go, come here. Hi, gal. Okay, ready? Um, yep, yep, yes. Good girl, good girl. Now I'm gonna pick you up and put you in there. Okay, ready? Turn. Let me get this girl up. Do this. It's true, she could be too big, but it, it's, it's okay. Ready, go, go. Very good. Can I click you? Very good girl. Everyone say, good girl. Scoot over. There you go. That's all you need to do. Scoot over. Okay. Let's warm this up. Pet Silk Bright White Shampoo. I got these nozzles as well. There's a link on the description of the video. Uh, she's going to definitely get water all over me, so let's go ahead and put this on as well. Please come shop with us at MyFavoriteGroomer.com. If you like the shampoo, conditioner, clipper, blades, all that good stuff. Are you going to give me kisses? Hmm, are you going to give me kisses? You want to give kisses? Do you give kisses? You do? Oh, you want you thirsty? Want some water? You thirsty? Okay, okay, sorry. Okay. Here we go. Oh, sorry, you guys. Don't get that poop out. Don't get mad at me. Spin you around, okay? Spin, spin, spin. Good girl. Spin, spin, good girl. Good for spinning. Stay there. I'm going to re-click you on this other side. Stay. Is it possible? Yeah, here we go. Move forward. Forward. Here we go. Move forward. 
Good girl. Scoot over. Scoot over. Good girl. Clean your ears, see, smell. Clean your ears here. You can get ear cleaner and the ear cleaning kit at myfavoritegroomer.com as well. I, I sell everything I use because I want to be able to say that it works, you know? And that if I don't use it, then I'm not going to sell it. Just because there's a clipper out there doesn't mean I'm going to carry it if I don't think it's a good clipper. Those look kind of dirty. And when you clean the ears after the bath, this helps them shake their whole body when I get done cleaning the ears, so it's a good opportunity to help get a lot of that water off the coat. Mm -hmm. You want to shake now? You want to shake now? Shake! You want to shake? Scoot over. Over. Let me see. Okay, you want to shake now? Shake. You can shake. 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 You're going to shake as soon as I bring you over here. Okay, I will. You ready? You want to come over here? Okay, okay. let's come over here. Ready? Unplug your hair. Oh, ready? Go. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Let me click you in. Okay. There she goes. That's all the shake you got? Oh my goodness. That's all the shake she has. A little boom, boom, boom. A little dun, dun, dun. A little dun, dun, dun. So sorry what happened to you. I'm so sorry that happened to you. You can never tell when it's gonna happen, can you? It just happens and if there's no injuries that you can see, how do you even know what's happening? You wouldn't. Some places there's no injuries you can see. You know, like when humans are abused, sometimes the injuries are not physical injuries. Sad, isn't it? Hold on, you got a bunch of gunk here. Let me see this one. Really? your leash. I love my job. I love being able to help. It's hard, right? I told you guys, it's like, don't bring your dog mad in. But I love my job. You shake? That's all you got. That's the best kind of shake you can do for me, huh? See here in Texas, it's still 80 degrees outside, maybe 74, so we'll let her air dry. That takes off a lot of stress. So, so now that I can see the coat's clean, there's going to be a couple things I can see. You can let it go or fix it.
When the coat is clean, you don't like that tickles. When the coat's clean, then the everything the clean hair pops up, you know. Someone must be hanging out with the puppies right now. Hold on. Was well, this a cool groom to watch you guys? Seriously. <laughs> is it cool to see you change? We're gonna do at least leave in conditioner. MyFavoriteGroomer.com, my favorite spray bottle, but my favorite is not here, the ocean bottle, leave-in conditioner. One squirt or, like, okay, that's good enough, not too much cologne. Marine Forest cologne, yeah. Liquid silk. Mmm, you want to smell? watching Didi Crow with my favorite groomer. Please hit that like, follow, subscribe. We'll see you on the next live. Let's go take her out to mom. You want to come down? You want to do some test, test runs? A couple more test runs?
Okay, I don't know how many of you guys have actually hung out, but I do have a couple things I want to say regarding this groom. And those of you guys on TikTok, I don't know, sometimes you guys, yeah, so everyone peeled out. For the 1.3K still out there, thanks for hanging out. Let me see if I sit down here. Okay, you can see me there. You too, let's see what you guys can see here. Okay, those of you guys still hanging out on TikTok, thanks for hanging out. Um, I'm just going to, it's 6.30, okay. I want to show you one more time. Um, and then I want to say, I want to say a few things about when you get your dog groomed somewhere and how I would handle it. Okay. You, you may not like it if you're a groomer and I'm sorry if you don't like what I'm about to say, I'm a business. And if it were my dog, this is how you should handle it as a business. And this is also how you should handle it as a client bringing your dog somewhere. So again, um, these are horrible pictures, but this is what happened at the last groomer in June near Frisco, Texas, okay? This happened to the dog I just groomed in Frisco, Texas. Frisco, Carrollton, that area up there. So you guys, again, I'm showing you some pictures. This is how bad it was in June, okay? Nicks on the face, um, cuts on the face, nicks on the ear, okay? Nicks on the ear, nicks on the cut on the face, blah, blah, blah. And I'm, I'm touching base again. Nicks under the ear, see here, it's raw nick right there under the ear. Here, all these cuts on the face, all these cuts around here, okay, cut underneath the cheek and the ear and the over here, okay. I'm going to talk to you about something right now. Um, this is the dog I just groomed, so if you missed it, go back on. You can find it on YouTube. It's going to go away on TikTok, so if you want to watch the full thing, we just groomed her. This is a nick under the ear here, okay. And it's, this is a camera through a camera, so there's glare and it's really hard to see, but there's a huge nick right there. Do you see that cut right there? No, not broken blades, man. Not broken blades. I, I don't know. I wasn't there. Look at her face. This is how she went home. I'm located in Fort Worth, Texas. You can check me out at myfavoritegroomer.com. This poor girl, man, this, this broke my heart. Okay, hold on. This is her going home. They did not finish all the way. Look at. Okay, so here's something that the client just told me. Okay, hold on. I wanna say. Let's go back to some text messages. Kind of looks like this. So June 17th, I was like, basically, send me vaccination records. She's like, okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. We talk about her other dog that I groomed last night live on YouTube. She wasn't feeling well, so it was hard to, for her to get in. When people say don't get a doodle but still love their doodle, I get that. It's really hard to groom doodles, right? I still brush her and she feels mostly good, but I'm afraid I could be wrong because it's so thick and I have the wrong brush. It's like her coat changed. I can comb through most of her. I feel it's a lot so better for you and Sadie to not have to wash and dry. Thank you, Maria, for your order. Appreciate you. MB out there. I'd say matted on her face and inside her front legs. I'm afraid to give her a bath even after a really good brush. This is what the mom is telling me in June. And I'm, I'm trying to work with her. Okay, I'm texting a lot of messages. I don't think I'll give her a bath until after she sees you, but she'll be brushed. I was like, okay, trust me, it'll be way easier to bathe her after I get done grooming. Don't bathe a matted dog. She says, I just can't keep her long with the Texas weather, and if it doesn't help, then I guess I'll know. I'm hot just looking at her. And I told her because we, she was a puppy. She was under six months old, I believe. And I was taking my time because mom didn't know to keep her long or, 
or not. So we didn't do full shaves or full anything. As a puppy coming in, you, for me, because I have two doodles and I have seven puppies, you don't want to wait. You should start brushing your puppy at one month, two months, three months old at home and then really find a groomer like myself that might bend the rules and do an outdoor groom or an at-home groom if your dog's not fully vaccinated but yet you have a doodle. That needs a lot of grooming. You want it, my doodles at three months old were jumping on the table. So I want you to do the same thing for your high maintenance dog grooming at home because I can't fix, I can shave your dog like this but I can't upkeep your dog every day. You're not gonna come to a groomer every day unless you're Brody, <laughs> I don't know about that but Brody might go to the groomer every day. He might have a, a groomer on staff, you know what I mean? Someone that touches the dog every day for them and that's what you do with a celebrity. Someone's touching your face, your makeup, your hair every day. But humans are not, pet owners are not usually doing that. So if you're not going to brush your dog every day, then it's really hard to say what it's going to look like. So you have to do that work at home and then your groomer helps upkeep the haircut or whatever in between the daily stuff you do at home. So before I know it, she was like, we went somewhere. And it wasn't like we went somewhere. It was like we went somewhere and this is what I brought home. And it was all that pictures I just showed you. So one of the things that when I talked to her, I was irate. I heard who it was that did it, what business it was, and I knew that person had nicked under my, uh, under my supervision as well, which is why I fired her. And this was like um, 17, 16, 17 years ago. So I was like, oh, I was like, I know, I know exactly who that is. And she, she nicked a lot of my clients' dogs, which is why she doesn't work for me anymore. Now, Here's the deal that the client just told me and reminded me was that when I talked to the client over the phone and saw the messages of all the nicks and injuries for her face, I mean, remember she was a puppy when I was grooming her. So to see that they went somewhere else because her daughter worked at that groomer, that her daughter worked at that groomer and then they were like, okay, let's just take her there because we could get her in now. Whereas you might have had to wait for my services, I'm not sure. but. When I heard back from them, it was like they got the dog groomed and there was all these nicks and injuries. So in that case, I told her, did you pay for the groom? She said, yes. And I said, you need to turn around and go have them pay. You need to go take your dog to the veterinarian. An injury like that, all the nicks and injuries, that it can get infected and your dog can get sick and have a infection that they're fighting their life for just like you and I can if you cut yourself with a dirty blade or you cut yourself with a dog's dirty mouth the dog bites you you can get an amputation it can lead up to an amputation so my advice to you if something like this happened to you is one you would not pay for the groom two you would have you would stand agree your ground and say you cut and injured my dog I'm actually going to leave here and I'm not paying for this groom and I'm going to go to a veterinarian right now. I'm gonna leave here and I'm gonna to go to the veterinarian. And you go to the veterinarian and you're gonna say, whatever insurance you have, which is funny because the lady who nicked dogs under my supervision, I didn't know she was doing this, she's a groomer and I'm not a micromanager. So she was nicking dogs and she said to me, when I called her out on nicking a dog right here and right here, she said, it's not my business, you handle it, it's your problem. So if a groomer can work under you and say that to you and all you do is fire her and my, I'm taking care of it, the vet bill and everything. And I was crying with the client for that person not to even feel remorse for what she did. I'm wondering like, oh, wow, she's out there grooming y'all's dog. She groomed her, Sadie. She groomed Sadie in June or someone in her care groomed Sadie in June. Hmm. So I wasn't there. You know what I mean? So it's, I, I'm only assuming a little bit. I'm trying not to assume. I just know where she went and I know what she looked like when she left there. So that same person was the same person who said to me, hey, your business, your problem, you take care of it. So in this case, I told this client, I said, you go back there and you tell her or call her and guess what happens is that somebody wants to avoid conflict now. They've already paid for the groom. They're cr they go home crying, sad, screaming, and then they don't go to a groomer for since, uh, since June, it's October, because they are so hurt and been through so much trauma with their dog recovering, all the nicks on the face, just everything, that they are scared now. So then what do you do? If I would have not paid for the groom. I would have turned around. I would have never even left there paying for the groom. I would have said, no, you injured my dog. Call your insurance company right now. Take pictures. 
because I'm going to go to the veterinarian and you're going to pay for it. I want to make sure my dog is like, there's a checks and balance system. So if something really happens to you, don't go home and sleep on it for two days. You need to go right now. That means as soon as you left the veterinarian, the injuries were bad enough that you went to the veterinarian and there's the paperwork for that. You went straight to the veterinarian because if your dog dies and you did nothing for a week and then the dog dies, it's really hard to go back and prove anything because you did not have a paper trail. Do you have to pay for the veterinarian visit? Probably. Do you have to then fight them to cover the, the payment? Probably. And then you may take them to small claims court in your local city because they're not answering your calls anymore because they ghosted you. Well, if, as long as you were taking pictures and videos, as well as documentation of you going to the veterinarian, then you should fight that. Because I'll tell you this, and so many people have blamed me for so many things, but have no proof. There's no proof because I've never done this to a dog. Okay, I've never done that to a dog. So when you have the proof and you take them to small claims court or go about what you need to do, and I'm not a lawyer, get a lawyer, but you can do small claims court without a lawyer. So if you have to go through all that, you need a paper trail. And if your dog dies, which a client of mine that never used me as a groomer came and told me her story, a, a groomer cut the anal gland area. I believe that they had fake nails and they did the anal glands twice, cut them up so bad. The second time the dog got a blood infection and fought for its life for a couple months and then died at the third month. So twice it happened. She left the groomer and went straight to the ER, ER emergency for dogs and the second time her dog her shih tzu did not survive so if you don't have a paper trail and guess what they did they stopped taking her calls and ghosted her so if you don't have a paper trail the little you need the paper trail you need to have a backbone if someone's hurting your dog you need to have a backbone and if you can't watch what they're doing I would challenge you to ask them to let you and if they don't maybe then you need to just look for a better groomer or a better situation that fits you better because you guys are across the planet don't just let it go without doing something this is if if your dog dies because of that whose fault is it is it because we didn't stick up for our dog we didn't protect our dog we didn't do better or we just didn't know what was going on but now that you know what's your next what's your steps moving forward okay so for a business owner if you are going to hurt a dog on accident or not, I'm going to tell you right now, look at my legs. Like I have nicked myself shaving my legs a lot my whole life, like my whole life. Most of my nicks on my legs have come as a teenager or I fell down on pavement riding my bicycle. Am I going to sue somebody? No, I fell down and I'm probably going to have arthritis as I get older. But what I'm saying is if I nick myself, Shaving my legs, which is funny because I nick myself more than I've ever nicked any dogs. Nicking can happen. My barberess, the lady who does my hair, I haven't done, used her in a while, but she, she put a scar here, right here. Because she would do my hair every two weeks. And before every two weeks, and she was like, well, it's because you have Asian skin. I'm like, you're the only person that's ever nicked me. Over and over and over. So when she goes to do that area, I do this. I'm like, you're going to nick me. If you're going to nick, okay, as an owner of a business, you need to have business insurance and you need to cover it. You need to go, well, I messed up. You don't have a bill, so don't mess up, right? If you mess up, there's no bill. You don't charge a bill. If you don't like that, I'm sorry. It's my, this is my channel and my business. If I or my client, or sorry, if I or someone working for me nicks a dog, there's no bill. I don't charge you a bill. And then, I will pay for your veterinarian office visit, but you need to go now. I don't wait. I don't want you to wait till five days from now. No, I'm sorry, ma'am. If there's a problem today, we are going right now because I need a paper trail myself. I need to know when it happened, who did it, blah, 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 and we're taking care of it. Go. And I honestly prefer, because I know a lot of veterinarians have their own rates, I prefer my own veterinarian. Guess why? Because I'm paying for the bill. So I'm going to tell you where to go, and you're going to go. So that's what I suggest you do if you have a business. Doing grooming for animals or anything that can hurt or harm an animal or human. If you have any kind of business, you better have some kind of business insurance. If you're doing grooms on the side and you're nicking their ear every time and you're doing it out of your garage or in your bathroom, you need to cover yourself and you need to care about these dogs enough that if you're making a money profit, that you get some kind of business insurance. And if you're not doing that, 
when someone asks you to watch, you should say, I'm not a real business. I'm just doing this as a hobby in my bathroom. Or I'm doing this as a hobby in my garage. I'm not a real business. So here, sign this document. Like, you can't sue me because I'm paying, I'm charging you 50 bucks and I'm doing it in my garage. It's, I'm not even a business. You're doing it as a hobby. But a hobby, working with clippers and scissors, this is why a barber can't do that. This is why a beautician can't do that. A cosmetologist can't do that. A, is that there are safety and standards that you have to go through to make sure you know how to keep your stuff clean, how do you take care of the animals in your care. But cosmetologists, barbers, you have to go through so many hours and credit hours to make sure you take care of the human in your chair. Not, excuse me, not just the haircut, not just knowing how to do a fade, because you ain't even gonna learn that in school all the way, but because of the nicks and injuries that can happen during a haircut and your tools are dirty and you give that human a disease or a problem that they might be fighting for their life, you're gonna have a bad day. So I hope that this opens your mind on both avenues, the owner of a pet and the business owner. So please, you know, do, do right by your clients and do right by um, your business. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next live. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share, follow, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Okay, YouTube, I'm going to check one thing and I'll be right back. I told them to knock on the door and let me know when they left, but I didn't hear, they didn't even say anything. They're gone. I need to lock that front door, you know what I'm saying? So let me pull you guys up and see where we're, you guys are chatting. And um, owners, pet owner, if you're out there and you, the owner of Sadie, if you're out there, thank you so much for letting your daughter walk my puppies while she was here. That really is awesome. And I gave her $15 off because her daughter was doing that. Um, I really appreciate your help uh, walking the dogs and giving them something to do while I was grooming your dog. I really appreciate that. So let me get over here to the live feed and just kind of wrap it up here. Let me turn my volume down. Okay. Tink I'm going back to where Tinko is. Is Tinko still out there? Thanks for becoming a member. Those of you guys who are members and moderators, thank you so much for being members and moderators. Grit says... Thank you, repurposed. I only have one clipper and I was going. I only have one clipper and I was going to clip my cousin's dog, but afraid of how hot they might get. Always check the heat of your clipper. Thank you, Pookie Puppy, for moderating. Thank you. I saw her spraying something too. Does that cool my clippers? I was spraying water. No, I, I was not. I actually was using several blades, so I wouldn't have to spray anything that's really funky monkey. I only have the silver and red pet grooming shears. They were only like 70 bucks. That's not going to be the same quality that I carry, so good luck with that. She looks like the same size as your male doodle. Male doodle for me is taller, slender. Tummy is slender. Chest is, my doodle's chest are like this. Her chest is like this. You know, it's so weird. I No harnesses fit. My boy doodle is like this. Literally, it's like a... Weird. Female doodles the same. Uh, it's only in the 50s here, Two Dogs says, up in Minnesota. Winter is coming below 50 here in Pennsylvania. I did winter laundry today, electric blanket on the bed. Ooh, I got to pull out my winter blanket. Body heat, they preserve their own resources and get self survival mode. A lot of groomer are only doing little dogs here. Big dogs take a lot more time and energy to groom. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, Dee Dee, she's giving you a hard day's work, but you are so great at what you do, sweet lady. Thank you, Grits. It's still hot there. Yes, it is. Let me a turn. Let me a turn. I think that's a, a turn. A turn. Hi, Dee Dee.
Lourdes, hello. Hi, Didi. Hope you're doing well. By the way, I love your videos. Mayara, thank you so much. Sarah, hello. You got this, a one hot mama says. Thank you, Miss Rain Man, hello. High five, I love the high, the pup is doing such a good job. I mean, she was so matted, wow. I like the clean feet, I do too, but she didn't. She didn't, I don't know if she didn't like it because of the mats or she didn't like it in general. We'll see next groom. My boy Doodle does not like clean feet and so sometimes if there are tangles between, I do have to do it, but he does not like his feet. Groom. Beverly, hello, great job. She says, thank you. Me too, two dogs. She's going to feel so good when you're done. She was so happy. I wish you were closer to Upper East Tennessee. You would be the groomer for my doodle. Great work. Thank you, Cindy. Please try to prepay on myfavoritegroomer.com so I can start making a route around the U.S. I pray there are no fleas. So I saw no fleas. Pet Parent says it may have been amongst two different trees, a bunch of stuff in the coat. Oh, I've been doing this a long time. I can, uh, even if there's not fleas, sometimes the flea preventative use can help kill a flea. But I, I just wouldn't know unless I tested the stuff in the coat. I will spray pesticide tonight and I will take that trash out. I'm not chanting it. I'm so glad you think I take precautions. I want to know that at seven o'clock at night on a Friday night, I may not have to go to the ER for no reason at all. Ryan, she's tired, yawning. Oh, okay. I think she's remembering the pain on her face, but she trusts you and watches you. Hmm, Pookie Puppy. She probably recalls cuts on the face from prior grooming. Gee, Pookie, we are on the same page. Yes, you both are. Gorgeous, Pookie Puppy says. Maria B, thanks for your old dog. She looks much happier. Oh my gosh, Dee Dee's like an energizer bunny, high energy. And I'm going through a lot. I'm, I don't know where I pull this stuff out from, but thank goodness I can find it. Leah Liz says, yes, lovely groom, Grandma Shell, thank you. DDP says, oh, she looks adorable. I thought she looked so sweet. So much happier. You are the best. Woohoo! What am I missing, Angel of Glass says. Still here, Maria says. Oh my gosh, Sarah Bennett. Oh my gosh, poor dog, poor baby. Oh my gosh, all those pictures. Ah, no. I would be pissed. I was pissed. I was so pissed. So the owner, right, she sends me all these text messages. Oh my gosh, Dee Dee, look what happened. I call her and I'm like, you better go back there right now. And I was like, you better write a Google review if that's factual. Put the pictures on the Google review. I don't want to, I don't want to be mean. Mean or factual? Mean or factual? How about this? I will never go back. Picture, 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 picture. If it's factual. There's a lot of fake reviews on my Google. Be factual, be truthful, be honest. Don't, I, I hated this groomer, I hated her, I didn't, okay, no, 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 let's get back to the facts. The fact is I got there at late. I waited an hour for a groom, my dog was matted. I wanted this cut and I got this cut. I never saw red blood on my dog until I came to this groomer. Fact, fact, fact. A Google review should be factual, okay? Not this fake stuff like, I hate this person, she sucks at her job, I, she's killed a dog. Where's the facts? Get your facts straight and just write a review based off of facts. I showed up, I showed up with ticks, I cried in her arms, she sent me home with flea and tick spray, and then now I hate her. That's facts. <laughs> And that's all three Google reviews right now I can talk about that are fake right now uh, on mine. Facts, facts, facts. I'm pretty sure this owner did not write a Google review on that, ladies, on that groomers, out of fear. And I'll just say this, the daughter that was working there, the daughter was fired. And the daughter was likely fired, why? Because the, the owner of his dog, the dog that they nicked and injured is the mom. And they said to the daughter, you kind of bring some drama here. <sighs> Franny says, oh my gosh. Lorda says, oh my gosh, how can someone do that to her? So when I talked to this owner and we, I was crying and yelling because I've been grooming that Sadie since she was a puppy. I didn't know she was gonna go somewhere else. 
I'm yelling at the owner, go back there, get your money back. And she goes back the next day with Sadie. She's not a drill sergeant. They, they insist and get Sadie back there to fix the haircut. Fix it. And on the way back, at whatever, she, the owner or whatever says, there's not a charge today. What? So they weren't going to give a refund because they fixed, fixed stuff. Shimmy, hello. Hello, everyone. Hope you all are doing okay. See you all soon. I need to watch it from the beginning. Oh, my gosh. Did she go back that far? Does, Dee Dee was awesome today, as always. Thank you, Sarah Bennett. Loves and kisses. Kathleen, you're amazing. Good work. Thank you. Please, there goes Shimmy. Back caught up now. Please support Dee Dee by shopping on her website, myfavoritegroomer.com. Thank you for learning how to put that in there right. Autocorrect put spaces, but there are no spaces in the website. Thank you, Shimmy. She says hi to everybody. That's so sweet of her. Shimmy's in Japan. Dog are in good hands with Dee Dee. Thank you, Shimmy. Honestly, Dee Dee is awesome. Thank you, Shimmy. All right, I'm caught up. Yeah, I can leave. I can go home. All right, hit that like button, and I hope you had a really good time watching. Um, I hope that nicks and injuries of that size never happen to you and your dog. There are nicks and injuries that can happen that we do ourselves. I know that with clients who have bought products with me who don't know what they're doing. So if you're not willing to get training, no one can stop you from grooming your own dog. But watch videos of mine. I've been talking to you through my grooms for years. Very rarely am I quiet. Practice on your arm. If you're nicking yourself on your arm, you are going to nick your, because there's no, this is flat. If you're nicking yourself on your arm, then you are going to nick your dog. Practice here and spray, <laughs> clean your tools, but practice here. Run your, run your clipper there. I'm not going to run mine. I already did that before. Run it back and forth. If you, I was being honest earlier, if you are gonna shave your sanitary on a female dog or a male dog, there's a hole, there's a hole that the clipper blade can catch. If you don't know how gentle to be, bring, bring your clipper right here. And if you nick right there, you are gonna nick some parts that are gonna be, don't wanna be nicked. If you're gonna nick yourself here or here like, what is that? The jackass show where he took a blade and cut himself here. If you take your clipper and you pretend to go in here and you nick yourself, you are going to nick an armpit. It's the truth. Or you're gonna nick the dog's digits just like this because there's a bunch of webbing here. It's fatter and flatter and all that here on a dog. If you take your clipper and you go, And you are going to come in, boom, it's just like a piece of paper. I'm going to go cut that right there. Do I have a piece of paper? Is there a cut right there? Yeah, there's a cut right there. See? See? This is a piece of paper right there. If I'm going to come in like that, I'm going to cut it. If you can't come in here and practice, practice in there, get super close, but don't nick yourself. If you can't come practice like that without nicking yourself here, 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 you are going to nick the dog here and here, right, wherever there's a body part, the ear in here, right there. It's like the same thing. It's a piece of paper in there, boom, boom. Under here, back up under here, you are going to nick the dog. So shave your arm, shave it back and forth, especially with the 40 blade. Especially with the 40 blade. If you don't know what you're doing, breathe. Take notes. 
watch videos, fly in for training, book a training with me. Fly in, have fun, go somewhere else, quit staying home and just not traveling. Fly in. Or how about this, get 20 people together in your neighborhood and I'll fly to you. But don't just think you can do it. This is really hard to do. And I showed you what someone else did to her. She was slightly matted or matted, whatever. She was not not matted. I don't know how bad the last time, but this was really bad. This is a perfect opportunity to nick a dog. So if I'm not nicking a dog and it's this bad, I, I have a lot to teach you. Watch videos, take your time, take notes, study, self-study. And when you first start trying to do the grooming, you should refer back to your notes. 40 blade is for the pads, 10 blade to shave the body. Be careful. Hot spot areas to nick are ears, armpits, joints, sanitary. Oh, if that's the case, I better be really careful in those areas. Don't just run over them. Sold a clipper to a guy that I worked with at the FAA. Smart, right? Intelligent folks. He cut the Pomeranian's ear off with the 10 blade. Did he call and tell me? Nope. A couple months later, I said, hey, how did that Pomeranian shave down go? I said, Didi, I cut my dog's ear off. I was like, oh my gosh. At that moment, I realized you can order a clipper on Amazon, all these other websites, at myfavoritegroomer.com, and nobody cares enough to say, hey, do you know what you're doing? Watch these videos if you're not sure. And I can't teach you how to be a doctor or a lawyer or it, no one can teach you that online. You have to show up for a class. Okay? So if you can't show up for a class, it will not be perfect and that's okay. You're not going to tell me I can't cut my own hair. I do, I do my own hair. But when I'm doing this, is it possible I nick myself because I can't see what I'm doing? Absolutely. Be careful in what you're trying to do with your pets and nicks will happen. Just try not to make it a bad nick and try not to do it over and over. There was a lady many years ago that said she was constantly nicking her dog, right? And I told her, stop doing that. Practice on yourself. If you cannot do that here without nicking yourself, do not groom your dog, period. It's best to avoid it. Because then you have dogs that are aggressive, and I groom a lot of them. You can see the pain that they have been through, the trauma that we can't take back. All right. I'm going to head out. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. I see, wish you were as closer to Tennessee. I got that. I'm here, Didi. Hi, Maru. Maru, you missed a bunch. Go back and watch. And some products online are fake. To get authentic products for grooming, please order from Didi. That's so true. You know, there was a clipper that David and I ordered six years ago because I could not. I ordered from Andis, right? So if I'm ordering from Andis, but you're ordering Andis on Amazon from a small company, you look to the right-hand side, it's like CHP Industries based out of Los Angeles. You're ordering an Andis 5-speed that's $69.99. I ordered it too. I was like, I can't compete with that. Ordered it, wasn't even authentic. I'll, I sent it back, obviously. But I was like, this is it. This is fake. This is, you, you can knock off Louis Vuitton. You can knock off anything. You can knock off a dryer and you can knock off a clipper. So when you look at, don't. Why do you do that? Doug said, I got a cheap clipper. Yesterday there was a lady on the site. Today there was a lady, I got a $60 clipper. Don't go and spend 60 and then 60 and then 50 and then 30 and then have all this stuff laid around that's trash. Spend 200 and get it and it lasts for 20 years. How about that? Spend 200, maybe 250, maybe 180, depending on the two speed or the five speed. Spend a little bit more and have something that I'm showing you that works and it's going to last a long time. If it doesn't last a long time, you get it serviced, fixed. If you drop it, embrace, you get a new case, you write the company, get a replacement, depending on when you broke it. Just try to be careful, try not to drop your clipper, try not to drop your blades. It's gonna happen, just a matter of how hard you drop it, okay? Bye. Bye, Marsha. See you guys later. Good night. See you tomorrow. And some of you guys, I may see you gaming if I can get home early enough.